Good morning, Leila. Uh, it's, morning. Been, it's been a pleasure to meet you and to thank you for inviting us to come to your class. It's been a wonderful experience for us. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. But I need to find out from you, how did you start? Where did you come into dance? What is your background? Well, I always have been, since I can remember, I wanted to be a ballerina. Uh, I started my ballet career um, in, in school, actually. Okay. From, a, from, I would say, from high school. Yes. Till matric. Yes. Okay. But then what happened there is, you know, those years there was these fights and these whatever, whatever. Yes. And then I couldn't further my career, obviously, and then I left it. Yes. But the dream was always being there. there. Okay. And then um, just I had a couple of accidents, motor car accidents. So I also could not uh, uh, do because of my injuries in my, in my body. Yes. I have tried to start my, my ballet school uh, years ago. And then because not been able to walk and all that, I left it. And then uh, last year or the year before, May, I left my, my permanent job. And then I thought I want to go back. And then I heard, my husband heard on the radio about a guy called Dirk Badenos. Okay. And um, he was offering dance teachers, ballet dance teachers, a free education to come and actually do wow. the career. So I went, I met up with him, and he put me into the program and uh, called Cudenza, and then I started, and then I walked, my journey started there. Wow. Yes, I went personally for classes every day. Excellent. <laughs> um, and, and that is where the Cuban da uh, instructor, Maria, she's from Cuba, okay. Cuba, and she instructed me. And then I finished uh, my, my, my first level last year 2016. Fantastic. Yes, I came out with flying colors, but I should have brought it to my certificate with That's me. That's brilliant. And then um, Dirk said to me, Leila, I think you're ready for your school. And then I started my school. And then after that, I I think two, three weeks ago, ago yes. I had my first evaluation done by Cudenza. Right. So I had people from Cuba here yeah, yes. to come and evaluate I think I saw the pictures on Facebook or somewhere. Yeah, so yeah. The pictures. So that was my first well, around. Oh, yes. yes, and that's and that and now you see yes. yeah, I've got about nearly thirty girls okay. in my in my level one. Yes. And then about twelve pre ballerinas. Fantastic. So the community there's a big Oh there's yes, a big yes, in the yes community. it's a very, really, very really big demand. Most of the most of the parents are really walking this walk with me. There is obviously like I showed earlier, there's two like two girls from same home or one in pre ballet, one in level one. And I do have a problem to actually um, when it comes to funds. So yeah, a lot of them cannot afford it. But um, we'll see later, you know, you never know. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. It's no. a community project in any way. Yes. And Dirk does know about it, you know, yes. uh, that, what I'm running. Yes. And I've got the support of the Cudenza. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. And um, what are, you know, what are the biggest challenges you face? Because obviously, you, somebody is letting you use uh, the church hall. Yes. Um, but you... You know, it's your dream to have a studio one oh, day. Oh, I mean, what is your dream? It's what been always been my dream yes. to have a studio, yes. okay? I, I know it's because of this dream that I've achieved. Mm -hmm. I could never be that perfect ballerina, but I am busy creating ballerinas. So I know I will have the best uh, uh, studio yes. one day. It's not so far from here. And that would actually be my dream, but I'm so grateful for for, for yes. assemblies of God yes. that allows me to use the church. I'm fortunate to say that my husband is the pastor of the church. Okay. So well, that is why I can be uh, <laughs> you yes. not take yes. advantage of yes. the opportunity. Yes. And there's a lot of uh, people that's using even our church yes. when it comes to arts. Okay. And, you know, while a minute ago, there's going to be praise and worship, dances, yes. using the church as well. Okay. And then we have got karate. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's yeah. fantastic. I want to actually start, I don't stay in Regen Park, I yes. stay in Van Dijk Park. Yes. So um, maybe end of this year, I will 
get something running in Fandake Park. Okay, and I see you mentioned to me that one of the mothers has come all the way from Eden Park. Eden Park, yeah. She phoned me. I don't know where did she see my advert, really, okay. because I've got one one out there, and I had when I started it off, yes. I had about one or two. Yes. I had it on Facebook, and then it. It, it's like, I don't know if you've seen a little, when you see um, all these streams coming and go back in, into the big sea, it's like these streams are coming all together now. Yes. And I'm yes. about to film a whole big yes. sea dream. Yes, <laughs> and I think the biggest question that we had from Chanel's Angel Network mm -hmm. is what can we do to help you? I know that's a big question, but you know, even if it's little steps, where can we start? Well, I think I would like to actually advertise it more, mm -hmm. okay? Because um, the advertisement that I'm using yes. through Facebook yes. and maybe one or two that I've got on my um, on, on, on my church wall yes. here, I think advertising could be the best thing okay. for me now for you to grow yes. my, my school. To, yeah. to grow your school. Yes. And as far as the children are concerned, are there many children who have problems that don't have the correct outfits or oh, shoes? Oh yeah, yeah. Or there is a what I do. I do deal with a, a, a shop in yes. town okay. that uh, that works with me in all our different studios. Okay. Um, she gives us a bit of a discount. Okay. Uh, I have gone the way of old school ballet. Yes. You notice my girls yes. has got black real tight yes. pink, pink shoes. Yes. Because with the new modern ballet, it's all different colors. Yes. And yes. it's more expensive. So yes. I went back to the norm, basic black real tight pink shoes, uh, pink shoes and pink socks. Uh, yes, um, there's a lot that doesn't have yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, we were planning on having maybe a big fundraiser and see okay. who we can uh, support and even transportation around here it's difficult some kids can't make it on time my husband picks up some kids like now we have to take big kids home okay. you know and we're not okay. charging any petrol or anything yes. because we want them to be here uh, yes you know, yeah. are there a lot of children that would join but they don't have the funds oh yes definitely have I you turned so. have you had to turn a lot away i did not turn anybody away but I would like a, a way to actually bring them all in. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much for t uh, speaking with us today, okay. and we'll definitely keep in touch. Thank, thank you, you Leila. Thank you for having me. Thank okay. you.